Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Support is growing for the village of Canastota police officer attacked while responding to a call last week. Officer William Price was hospitalized and underwent surgery for his injuries, but continues his long road to recovery. News Channel Line's Adrian Smith tonight shares how his community is lifting up. Sean Barton was only recently sworn in as the Canastota Police Chief, but he's worked alongside Officer William Price for years. Officer Price is a big teddy bear. I mean, he's always looking out for everyone else. Uh, he, he would literally sit for eight hours talking to somebody if, if they needed that kind of help. Helping is exactly what Officer Price was doing when he was attacked on duty, punched multiple times in the head and face, allegedly at the hands of a 25-year-old who police say was high on a hallucinogen. There's just no words. It's upsetting. You know, in, in the, you know, I mean, we're the last line of defense for people. And to have someone just attack uh, one of us like that and, you know, and attack someone who was a friend for many years. It, it, it's very bothersome. But there's been an outpouring of support for Officer Price, including from the village's volunteer fire department. They serve our community. We serve the community. We all work together. So we're going we're gonna to take care of them the best that we can. There was a hashtag on Facebook, hashtag wear blue for Billy. Whole community wore blue yesterday. Kids at school. Uh, one of the sports teams uh, uh, came up with their shield number with his initials on the back of their shirts to wear all day. It's been great. The community is also showing their support by making sure Officer Price and his family are fed. The restaurant providing those meals, Three Pines Tavern right here in Canastota. Just walking around town, everybody's always asking how he's doing, how are we doing, you know, what can they do to help us out. Support, Canastota strong, that's how it is. It's a small community. We all look out for one another. We all take care of one another. In Canastota, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Richard Branch Jr. is facing charges including assault of a police officer, robbery, and attempted assault with intent to cause injuries. The 25 year old was scheduled to appear in court tomorrow. The village administrator says that's been canceled. No word yet on a new court date.